Our next speaker will give us an impression how the mobility sector is able to benefiting from GAIA-X. Welcome to the IP Director at Amadeus, Mr. Jean-François Cass. Bonjour depuis Sophie Antipolis en France. Hello from uh, Sophie Antipolis aus Frankreich. Hola desde Sophie Antipolis en Francia. Saluti da Sophie Antipolis nel sud de Francia. Remy tag with Sophie Antipolis. And a hello from Sophie Antipolis in the south of France. So I'm Jean-François Cazès, Amadeus Director, notably in charge of intellectual property in Amadeus Group. Amadeus, as you may, as you may know, is one of the biggest IT transactional players in, in Europe, world leader in IT solutions to the travel industry. We are a proud founding member of GAIA-X and I'm personally a member of the interim board of directors at the interim bureau of the association committed to the success of this ambitious initiative. On the point, let me move to the slideshow. Today, I am honored to speak in the name of a recently created group of organizations starting a mobility travel and transport data space under GAIA-X. At the end, I will also mention some mobility data spaces or the mobility data spaces projects that have been worked on in the GAIA-X national hubs, notably in Germany. We are going to show the efforts to create such data spaces for the mobility travel transport vertical. How many of you have complained how painful traveling can be, notably to security and control checks, multiplicity of providers, lack of end-to-end -end information, for example? In this vertical, there is a huge need to improve fluidity and travel experiences, reducing all the friction that all the people on the move suffer. So a European focus group started this European wide effort. As you can see, the creators are the Air France KLM Group, which is a French and Dutch organization, Amadeus, who is a pure European player, whose headquarters are in Madrid, Spain, whose R&D is managed from France in Sofia Antipolis, uh, from where I'm speaking, and whose IT operation activity is managed from Munich in Germany. Also joining, there is Aéroport de Paris, the owner of the aeroport in Paris, Charles de Gaulle and Orly, many of you, I'm certain, have gone through with them, and also own a participation in Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. Also, part of the group of the creators of this data space is an academic player, Terra Lab, a research organization in the Institut Min Telecom, prestigious group of French schools, engineering schools in France. I would like to stress, of course, that it is well known that this industry is going through one of the worst crises in history due to the COVID pandemic. All the involvement of these players is especially noticeable and show commitment to come out of this crisis even stronger than before and prepare from now a better industry. The idea is to create a new multimodal ecosystem where partners in the data space can exchange data independently of the place they store it in for example, in data centers or, or cloud providers. They should do so through connectors or nodes to be defined and standardized. This is quite an ambitious idea, as we aim for the stars, as, as it is put in the slide, as it is developing a common good, something bigger than the sum of these parts, that brings value to all participants through increased productivity and business opportunities. But we will never stress enough that in the center of all it all, there is the traveler, the person on the move, that should be the one getting more the advantages of such a data space. And obviously, we need as many participants as possible to these data spaces. Every time a new player will come in, the clear network effect that is produced will be improved. The more participants, not only the merrier, as the English said, but also the more we can enhance the global productivity of the world industry and therefore the services to the traveler. Let's dream about it. Let's imagine a world where you go through an airport like you will go relaxedly in a nice commercial center without having to remember where your passport is, where your boarding card is. How many of you, at least myself, had to suffer the stress of not finding a paper and to look for it when carrying at the same time luggages and maybe a little baby? Let's imagine a world where a taxi or a car service is waiting for you at, at the airport, for example, even if the plane is delayed, and that you can enter an hotel room without having to give another time your credit card and having to prove your identity. 
Let's imagine a world of frictionless mobility where all the data is supporting your trip, avoiding you traffic jams, allowing you to change means of transport like bus, trains, cars, without having to inform yourself at each step of transportation change of the schedules and fares for the next leg of your trip. Presently, you might change every time of app on your phone when you are doing kind of a, a complex trip. And by the way, how many of you have different travel apps on, on your mobile phone with differ, from different city public transports, airlines, hotels, car highs? The, one traveling, the ones traveling enough will recognize that they have so many that they often don't even remember anymore what they have and the one to use at a given time. Imagine a world where you are offered what you need, where distribution of mobility transport, travel and local activity content is made very easy and can be improved on the fly depending on the unforeseen or foreseen circumstances of your trip. Imagine a world where your loyalty is recognized and followed up upon without you needing to enter long loyalty programs number that you never have when you need them anyway. And imagine that all of this happening in a secure way, respecting the privacy of the individual in a GDPR compliant way. Imagine as well, for example, that we give the choice to the consumer about where her or his data is manipulated and stored. And all of this could be done with data management, with federated services around travel players, as Gaia X proposed. So let's go. In, a, in the travel industry, there is a galaxy of providers around the traveler. The travel providers that can be travel agencies, but also con local content providers for activities like, I give any example, like paddle boarding or daily expeditions in night boring att attractions. Of course, we can find the hoteliers, airports, rental cars, travel insurance, public administrations like police or customs, railways, payment operators, travel distributors and airlines. This rich ecosystem to work together has to work better interconnected. Multimodality, which is the capability to change of transport during a, a trip, would then be dramatically improved and pain and or friction points will decrease. Because travel is such a rich environment with so many different players, all having different technical capabilities and IT environments, all needs to integrate in a standardized environment. Somebody has said that data is the new oil and companies will be careful about the data. They will be reluctant to share everything in a kind of global central data lake as we used to be, uh, used to, uh, we used to do. And they need an, an incentive to share the data which will come through increased business for all the participants. They need trustability to what happened to their data and we need trust between the participants to the data space. GaiaX is not about competing with what is existing, the existing offers we can find in the market, but it's to bring extra value using our European values of sovereignty, privacy, portability, and transparency. Maybe as well, in view of the complexity involved, we might need several travel ecosystems, as it could be daunting to deal with all the mobility issues at once at the beginning. For example, dealing with fluidity of traffic in a city or management of public distributed means of transportation like publicly offered bicycles or scooters in cities or management of autonomous vehicles or ensuring intra intramodality between train and plane at airport level may look too different, involving too many different actors. I will, by the way, show some examples at the end of other potential data spaces in mobility. But it's certainly good to work under a common framework. The GaiaX architecture being worked on, on, on GaiaX Association that will allow later to put together all these initiatives if there is interest. Each data space as a data infrastructure will run user cases that will be specific to a problem needed to be solved. We can imagine sharing all different types of data, as we can see on top on the right. For example, digital identity, passenger name records, all sorts of other bookings, social media interaction, information. But for the sake of clarity, we have taken two examples today. 
In, those, in this selected two potential uh, user cases, the first one is about digital identity and the other around the health path. Concerning this first use case, the digital identity, who has not dreamed to walk around, around her or his trip without having to show passports, boarding passes, and so on? In this case, the traveler builds in a way to be defined a digital identity. You can see that on the left. And this is digital identity saved in one place of the ecosystem. Let's imagine that the traveler has accepted to let her digital identity to Air France KLM, letting as well Air France KLM sharing it, if need be, around her trip with other partners. But the traveler will wish that this digital identity would be saved in a secure way, maybe only in her country where she trusts the laws and the local judiciary system. Then, when this traveler is moving, let's put an example around Roissy Charles de Gaulle, this digital identity might be shared for a given period of time for a fee to, for example, Aéroport de Paris. And if we are talking about traveling outside Schengen area, to the customs as well, for example, this will be limited to the time of transit so that the traveler gets automatic recognition during her transport transit, but making sure that all personal data will be treated confidentially and will be erased after use from the IT systems of the partners being lent the data. In slide number seven, in slide number six, yeah, we can see another use case around the health pass. In this time of COVID pandemic, of course, some destination and countries may require a test done and a proof of COVID negativity, maybe sometimes in a certified laboratory agreed by the local embassy, as it happened with China, for example, presently. When the test is done, as we can see on the left, these test results may safely digitalize and stored and will travel with the traveler in the background so that the traveler does not have to go with these pages of test results to be shown and that maybe would require translations depending on the border to cross. Some initiatives are already done around this. For example, if you have heard about them, Common Pass, and the data, GaiaX data space is a great ecosystem to put this in place. Anyway, we have seen two examples of data that could be managed in a way to improve the data ex traveler experience, but there are multiple other examples with potentially providing and uh, with, for example, potentially providing and distributing better and more personalized offers at each side of the travel. For example, you can imagine when you arrive to a destination that depending on your likings on the social media, for example, you get distributed the local content that will interest you. So what needs to be done? First, we need to widen our data space with other players. The network effect will come with more participants. They might need a governance to manage it. Then, or in parallel, the IT systems of the participants of the data space need to understand each other. So this means to start a standardization process defining common nomenclature and vocabulary. And again, in parallel, we need to start working on the future architecture of the data space that will ensure that the European values are respected with the data. We might need, for example, clearance house or payment providers, controllers of data management to ensure data is erased when due, a timer to ensure that data is only lent for the given time. A lot of things to do. Last but not least, the, the, as you can see in the slide shown now, you may know that some national hubs in GaiaX, notably in Germany, France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Finland, to mention a few, have actually started to work on mobility as well, and sometimes are quite advanced already. I would like to mention two. Collaboration with the German Minister of Economic Affairs, Mr. Almayer was talking just a few minutes ago, and it's already working with some use cases around city mobility that are described in the slide. The, the other one, Data Room Mobility, working notably with Akatec, the German Academy of Science and Engineering, the German Federal Ministry of Transport and Digital Infrastructure, and the German Institute of Transportation Systems. This initiative aims to improve future of automated road transport and traffic through data management. I take this opportunity to thank the National Hub Organization in Europe. I realize that there is a vibrant and energetic strong community in the whole of Europe, from Spain to Finland and the Baltic countries that are already working in quite hard projects. To end my presentation, 
I would like to specifically to thank all the contributors to this work, notably Thierry Mock from Air France, KLM Group, and Sophie Thailandier from Terra Lab, and uh, the Academic Research Institute I was talking before, Irene Beta from Aéroport de Paris, Guillaume Silvani and Ludovic Vaurier from Amadeus, as well as all the Amadeus employees that put an amazing effort to make this presentation a reality. Many thanks as well to the rest of GaiaX for their support and also to the International Data Space Association that has been building the theory of data spaces since 2015. We build on their password. Thank you very much for your interest and hopefully this is just a starting point of a very interesting journey that should allow all of us to move in a secure and private way fluidly and seamlessly in Europe. Guten Abend, bon après-midi, buenas tardes, arrivederci, tot science, have a nice afternoon with the other GaiaX presentations. <laughs> that was really great. Thank you and merci beaucoup, Mr. Kass.